Have you ever felt the urge to just take off, no detailed plan, just you and the open road, to let the journey unfold on its own, discovering new places as you go? A real adventure, driven mostly by pure spontaneity and an urge to get out into nature. Well, that's exactly what I did. My nine-day journey started as I pulled into Tropic Reservoir, Utah, where I hoped to find a good camp spot for the night. There weren't many dispersed camping areas near the reservoir, so I used a pin that my buddy Stefan gave me quite a while ago, hoping it would work out for me. Yeah, walking distance from the creek. I'm sure I could get down this. Doesn't look bad on GoPro, I'm sure, but it's pretty steep. I think I'm just gonna stay up there in the safe area. It's still near the creek. That'll be nice. Go to sleep tonight with the sound of the creek flowing by. I think this might have to do. What do you guys think? Sunshine. Nice. Don't really need this. Well, here we are up near Tropic Reservoir, Utah. I'm on a nine day adventure, solo adventure that is. Summer's pretty much over. Fall actually starts tomorrow, but I'm dragging it out one more week. So the campsite is about 7,800 feet in elevation. So it's a little cool. It's like 64 degrees right now. It's probably gonna get into the low 30s tonight, near freezing. So I'm gonna probably fire up that diesel, diesel heater and see how she works. Got an electric heater too, but that thing is a battery sucker. So I'm not sure how much I'll use that. Let's go walk down this little trail to the creek. So I gotta thank my buddy Stefan again for telling me about this spot. He was up near Red Canyon doing some riding and exploring and he came up on this spot. This right here is actually the pin that he gave me. But yeah, I don't know if the van's gonna wanna get back up that. Probably could. No problem with the bike not on the back, but kinda worry about ripping that thing off the back on that hitch carrier. Man, check this out. Right next to the friggin' creek. It's gorgeous. Let's see if I can get across without falling in. <laughs> A little sketchy. Yeah, I got my own waterfall. So I was trying to figure out what to do with the rest of this day. But the sun's kind of come out. It's actually pretty nice. It's a little chilly. It's in the 50s. But uh, I think I'm going to use this last half hour, hour of daylight. Get the table set up here. Cook some dinner. I think I need to chill and relax. 
grill a steak, drink some wine, and enjoy this amazing campsite. There's some traffic noise across the way. It could be quieter. I'm just kidding. It's freaking gorgeous here. On tonight's menu. Steak. Pre-made quinoa. Green beans. I'm just going to put it all in the same pot just to warm it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Freaking perfect. The only thing that would make this better is if my wife were here. <laughs> yeah, our schedules didn't work out for this vacation, so it's not holding me back. <laughs> I just can't get enough of this campsite. <laughs> this is like what you daydream of. It's just so amazing right now. Had a good meal, some good wine. Wait for that sun to go down and it's probably gonna get cold as hell. I'm gonna go inside and watch a movie and fall asleep. Unwanted house guest. There was a freaking field mouse. I turned all the lights on. He went running back and forth right here and he went under that mat, I think. And I can't find him now. I opened the door and the slider. I don't think he ran out. I think he's just scared and hiding right now. But I heard him getting into my pistachios on the freaking dashboard last night. I kept hearing this weird noise, like a almost sounded like rain hitting something. And then it would stop. I was like, what the hell is that? Oh my God, this is not a good way to start my trip. Damn it. Well, diesel heater doesn't want to fire up, so that's fun. Yeah, I haven't heard him, but I cleared everything out from up front. I'm gonna make some coffee and sit here and hear if I hear any Pitter patter. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he was a little tiny white guy. White guy. Yeah, yeah, it was a little tiny white mi white mouse. Or uh, I wouldn't call it a rat. I guess like, yeah, it's a little field mouse. <sighs> I I'm hoping he went out the way he came in, which I think is through the uh, cabin air filter. I think there's a real easy way to get in through there. Oh man, I'm hoping he's gone, but. It's going to be a while before I can rest easy. This sucks. Thing I understand is he didn't get in. The Ziploc doesn't even work on this bag. And he didn't get in. He was the dumbest mouse on the planet. Last chance to get out, mouse. You better be gone. I don't want to see you again. Oh my god, that sucked last night. Four o'clock in the morning, I wake up. Just little <laughs> noise. Oh wait, is that someone over there? The chipmunks or mice. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, this this campsite went from epic to never again. Ugh.